Welcome to our lecture, our lecture for chapter 10, lecture number four. In this lecture, we will discuss historic Japan. Japan is a land of contrast with contradictions between history and modern in it, modern, <laughs> modern entity, but, uh, nature also versus a cluttered environment. Um, Chinese culture embraces both natural environment and the urban environment. There is traditional dress contrasting um, urban dress, and there are economic contrasts as well that we'll discuss later in our lectures. These maps of Japan are on page 485 and 486 of your text. Uh, the map on the left, we see a kind of a locational map of Japan on the globe, and then we see Japan positioned in latitude across the United States. We see that it ranges in latitude from the south, uh, Gulf of Mexico, into New England. Uh, it's about the size of California. The map on the right, we see a geophysical map of the islands of Japan, Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu are the main islands, although there are many other islands. Um, it's important to note the number of volcanoes in the geophysical landscape of Japan, and this has to do with the tectonic plate configuration. Japan would be considered part of the Ring of Fire. It sits across the North American plate and the Eurasian plate as the Philippine plate and the Pacific plate um, subverge underneath the two larger North American and Eurasian plates, creating a mountainous island and a large amount of volcanic activity as well as earthquakes. And as we know from the Fukushima uh, earthquake and uh, tsunami from 2011, that it can cause uh, many problems in terms of development and affect the population severely. History of Japan. The Yoman culture is the earliest known culture. Yeyota, uh, Yeyoi followed that, replaced the Joman some 2,300 years ago. Uh, the Yo, uh, Yeyo culture introduced religion that would eventually develop into Shintoism. The Yamato period was about 1700 years ago and introduced great transformation of Japanese culture and politics. The Nara and Heian periods are from 700 to the 1100 ADs when Chinese influences begin to mature. The Bakafu or behind the scene rulers um, were well known and well documented between the 1100s and 1800s. And the Tokugawa period uh, was known for the shogunate or military dictatorship, highly centralized administrative structure, elevated levels of economic development and urbanization uh, and interaction with settlements increased. After the Tokugawa family came into power in 1603, Japan experienced elevated economic growth based on increased rice production, the rise of merchants' associations, and banking facilities uh, and commodity trade. Urbanization and economic interaction between settlements increased. A host of urban places with many different functions emerged, including Japan's first large-scale urban region, that set the stage for the country's future urban industrial core. This core focused on the cities of Edo, Nagoya, Kyoto, and Osaka along Honshu's south central Pacific coast. Especially important to the enhanced interaction of urban places was the southernmost of five highways, the Tokedo Road or the East Sea Road between Edo, which is now known as Tokyo, Kyoto, and later to Osaka. 
Edo was the center of government and administrative control and aristocratic culture. Kyoto was the seat of the emperor and the intellectual and art center of the Takagawa, uh, Takagawa period, located in the eastern end of the, inland, of the inland sea. Osaka was the premier commercial and business center of Honshu. After unwelcomed initial visits by European vessels, the Takagawa government isolated Japan from foreign contact and competition. The Takagawa period and Japan's isolation soon ended after American uh, Commodore Perry's arrival in Tokyo Bay in 1853, which opened Japan's core area to global trade. So, 1543, the Portuguese were the first Europeans to arrive. Spanish, Dutch, and English followed over the next year. They were impressed with Japanese technology and cultural achievements. The Japanese, in turn, were attracted to guns, tobacco, and Chinese luxuries that were brought by the uh, Europeans. In the 1600s, uh, increasing suspicions of Westerners and Western religion began to develop. In 1640, Spanish and Portuguese were expelled from the country. Dutch, English, and Chinese were confined to areas around the port of Nagasaki. In 1853, isolation ends with the arrival then of American Commodore Perry in Tokyo. Sabatsu uh, is part of the first transformation of Japan into an industrialized uh, and developed society were large industrial and financial cliques that provided an effective means for marshalling private capital for investment. This fueled the, uh, the uh, Meiji Restoration Economic Transformation. The Meiji government borrowed heavily from the West, adopting what the government perceived each country did best. A constitutional government uh, with a legislature was established. Feudal de Mayo lands were transformed into uh, prefectures, each with a governor chosen from the de Mayo, and the imperial capital was transferred from Kyoto to Tokyo. The samurai class was disbanded and many, because of their high levels of education, were funneled into government bureaucracy or became teachers or military officers. Farmers were released from feudal obligations, but because of land privatization, the majority became tenant farmers. The government also invested heavily in modern communication systems that included roads, railroads, ports, and the telegraph. A free market economic system was embraced, necessitating the establishment of uniform tax laws and a banking system. The modern corporate environment emerged in key industries, some of which were founded by former de Mayo. There were military victories um, as Japan began to um, have a period of conquest in um, East Asia. There was victory over China in 1895, victory over Russia in 1905. I say uh, experiences with colonization in uh, the mid or through the mid 1940s with Taiwan in 1895, Korea in 1911, Southeast Asia and parts of the Pacific uh, continued on into the mid 1940s and into the Second World War. The colonization period was short-lived, and their rule was considered brutal. Uh, many hard feelings are still harbored between the Japanese and other cultures today. The second transformation, economic development, um, increased in the wake of the defeat in the Second World War. It amounted to a sped up repeat of the Rosto model of development that we talked about in chapter one. The Allies imposition of a political structure 
uh, altered the government, but Americans also invested um, a lot of foreign direct investment into Japan at the time, to um, uh, which was used to improve the industrial complexes of Japan. Aspects of what's known as the Japanese or the Japan model reemerged. The um, Kiretsu are large corporate conglomerates. Um, they're essentially a breakup of the Zabatsu uh, reconstituted as uh, Kiretsu. Uh, they played a major role in post-World War II growth as they developed entire lines of industry, uh, related banking, and all of this was supported by what's known as a bureaucratic capitalistic government. Uh, in a bureaucratic capitalism uh, country, there are influence of governmental industries, especially Minister of Economy, of Economy Trade and Industry. They helped um, guide industrial development, um, helped create the niches that Japan was able to uh, take advantage of so well after the Second World War uh, and created a tiered economic structure uh, from small industries supplying parts to the larger industries um, and providing the investments in the entire process of um, manufacturing various items. Uh, we know, for example, that uh, the automobile industry developed there um, and created a very strong industry for Japan that eventually spread into uh, the rest of Southeast Asia as Japan, by the 1980s, became the single largest source of foreign direct investment in Southeast Asia. Japan was investing in other countries. During this period, population growth stabilized and Japan uh, exhibited the population characteristics of a well-developed country, or began to, yeah, now uh, much more obvious. Well, that's it for the historic uh, Japan lecture of Chapter 10. Lecture number four will complete our Chapter 10 discussion in our next lecture, and I'll talk to you then.